A very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabid. Now before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. The Health Ministry says the number of COVID-19 positive cases in the country has increased to 59. The Elections Commission reveals that the new date of the general election will be announced on the 26th of this month. The Colombo Stock Exchange opens for trading. The importation of all types of motor vehicles suspended. Coronavirus kills more people in Italy than in any other country. In our lead story, according to the Epidemiology Unit of the Health Ministry, the number of COVID-19 positive cases in the country has gone up to 59. All confirmed patients are receiving treatment at the Infectious Disease Hospital in Angoda. Meanwhile, 243 suspected COVID-19 patients are currently being treated at the selected hospitals in the country. According to a situation report of the epidemiology unit, the majority of confirmed cases are males, while 45.2% of the patients are of the ages between 41 to 50 years. Meanwhile, Defence Secretary Major General Kamal Gunaratna has requested all Sri Lankans, including those who are living abroad, to support government's efforts to contain coronavirus outbreak by being indoors and following the advice given by the Health and Defence Ministries. He said, as the Defence Secretary, he could assure that all the required measures had been taken by the Triforces, police and all related intelligence agencies work around the clock to mitigate the spread of the virus. Defence Secretary warned the rumour mongers not to post any false or misleading information and damaging posts on social media platforms related to the ongoing government's efforts to control COVID-19 as the intelligence agencies were strengthened and empowered to nab such irresponsible people or groups. Still in news at home, Chairman of the Elections Commission, Mahinda Deshapriya, has announced that the general election cannot be held on the 25th of April. During a media briefing at the Elections Secretariat, he said that the decision was taken by considering the situation in the country due to the coronavirus. He said that the date of the election would be announced on the 26th of this month. Accepting of nominations for the election ended at 12 noon yesterday. Opportunity was given to file objections until 1.30 p.m. Many recognized political parties and independent groups handed over their nominations for the forthcoming general election. The national list of Sri Lanka Pudujana Peramuna was handed over by the party chairman, Professor G. L. Pires, and its general secretary, attorney at law, Sagara Karyawasam. Meanwhile, the United National Party and Samagi Janabalavegya, led by Sajid Primadasa, submitted two separate national lists. Former MP Daya Siri Jayasekara submitted the national list of Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Former Speaker of the Parliament, Karujai Surya, and former MP Sagala Ratnaika had neither submitted nominations to contest the election, nor were included in the national lists. The Colombo Stock Exchange will reopen for trading this morning. After remaining closed for four days amidst the coronavirus outbreak in the country, trading on the CSE is set to resume today with revised trading hours. The pre-open session will take place from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m., followed by open auction at 10 a.m., while regular trading is to commence after the open auction. The market will close at 1 p.m. in view of the government declaring a period of six working days from the 20th to the 27th of March for employees of the public and private sector to work from home. The Colombo Stock Exchange has requested member firms and trading members to follow suit to the extent possible. Colum Colombo Stock Exchange closed the market to minimize public interactions in curbing the spread of COVID-19 and to ensure the safety of all market participants. In more news at home, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka has introduced several measures to ease the pressure of the exchange rate and prevent financial market panic due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Accordingly, licensed commercial banks and National Savings Bank are directed to adopt several measures during the next three months with immediate effect. 
They have been asked to suspend facilitating the importation of all types of motor vehicles other than those excluded specifically under Banking Act Directions Number 1 of 2020. It has, in it has instructed them to suspend facilitating the importation of non-essential goods specified in Banking Act Direction Number 1 of 2020. The Central Bank has also asked them to suspend the purchase of Sri Lanka International Sovereign Bonds by licensed, licensed banks in Sri Lanka in addition. Authorized dealers of foreign exchange are allowed to issue foreign currency notes as travel allowance only up to a maximum of $5,000 or its equivalent in other foreign currency. The Judicial Service Commission has issued a special circular containing guidelines on how courtroom proceedings should be carried out in the coming week starting from today. This is in order to prevent the spread of the deadly virus COVID-19 in the country. The circular status that no lawsuit will be heard in open court except for the ones decided by a judge as urgent and necessary. All other scheduled court cases will be taken up on later dates. However, only bail applications will be accepted as usual. To extend the remand period of inmates, the case against them will be heard using video technology instead of producing them before courts. The provisions for granting police bail should be exercised as much as possible and magistrates are urged to coordinate with relevant police divisions in this regard. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abed. Have a great day, stay at home and stay safe.